Hello, people of YouTube. I'm back again. I got a box from Atlas that has some stuff in it. Let's go over to the workbench, take a look, see what it is. All right, so here's what was in the box. We have in the back there a 60-foot BX166 boxcar. That's this guy. And then in front of it, we have the Thrall 2743 Gon. So we're going to take a look at the gondola first. All right, so this is, as I said a second ago, a 2743 gondola. As you can see, it's decorated for Union Pacific. They make 17 different styles of this model. So it's either this one with different road numbers or a slightly different paint job, something like that. And uh, worth mentioning, the MSRP for this is $23.95. As we're looking at the side, you can count them. It has 14 of these posts. And the ladder over here is a separately applied part. And it has ladders on the ends, which also are separately applied parts. And I want to mention that I'm wearing my ultra super magnified visor. And I scrutinized the paint very closely and found it to be really well done. Most of these tiny markings down in here, you can read those with ultra magnification. So the printing on this car is very nicely done, and the paint also is very well done. That's a separately applied ladder there. The brake platform is a molded piece. The brake wheel is a separately applied piece, and there's some brake chain detail below the wheel that's also nicely done. And as you can see, this car has knuckle couplers. So looking at the bottom, you can see some brake detail here. And most of this looks like it's molded, but it's very finely rendered, so it looks pretty good. And this one reservoir here almost looks like a like it might be a separately applied piece. It's kind of hard to tell just because it's so small. But one thing I was kind of impressed by, and still am, is all the other, you know, these little, I don't know what you call this sort of bracing here, and the spine of it. That looks really good. I wasn't really expecting to see this much detail on the underside of this model. Let's bring in the box car now. I'm going to tell you, as I pulled this out of the box and started looking at it, I could tell why the MSRP is $34.95. And I'll show you. This thing's really nice. You may recall last year, sometime last year on InScale Friday, I had a red Santa Fe boxcar. I think it was a BX177. And I'm pretty sure that it was one of the BLMA originals that Atlas took over. They bought BLMA a while back. This one looks a lot like that. And what I mean by that is, first of all, the paint's great. It's the detail that does it. The stirrups are very very finely rendered. I mean, these look pretty to scale, actually. And considering this is N scale, it's, it's hard to imagine. I mean, I, I'm going to have to be careful because it looks delicate enough that something like that might even break off if you're not careful. But look at the detail in the doors. That's nuts. I mean, these doors almost look like separately applied parts. And the door tracks, too, look like separately applied parts. So... Yeah, this is exquisite, really. And all of the writing on it, so all these little markings and stuff, that, that's all legible with my ultra-magnified visor. I, I'm really, really impressed with this model. It has 100-ton uh, trucks, and we'll turn it over and look at those in a minute, but I just want to mention it. It comes with metal wheels. These are 36-inch scale metal wheels. And they have 30 different styles of this car so it's either this paint job with different road numbers or it's different paint jobs and you can look on their website to see what all they came out with but this model something else i should mention if you peek down here 
and we'll look at this in a minute, but it's really amazing. This great detail you can see. So this is visible from when the car is rolling down the track, right? Wait till you see what it looks like underneath. But before we go there, we're gonna look at the ends. So as you can see, we have separately applied ladders, a separately applied brake wheel and chain. It has a cut lever on the left side here, an air hose. And this is a body mounted knuckle coupler. And of course, all the writing up in here is legible with magnification. So this is really cool. Something else, it's kind of hard to see it from this angle, but there's a photo etched metal crossover platform as well. This model is really exquisite. This is definitely one of the best boxcar models I've seen in N scale. It has detail on it that normally you wouldn't even see except maybe an HO scale or, or larger scales. Larger than N, that's for sure. Look at all that brake detail. You do not get that in N scale. And as I was pointing out before, a lot of this is visible as it rolls down the track. So that's really cool. So that's it for this week's N scale Friday. I'll be back next week to show you the HO scale model that was in the box with the N scale models. The N scale models, I have to say though, were very nice, especially that box car. It really reminds me of the BX177 box car I got last year. There's detail being put on models in N scale now that really we haven't seen anything like it up until now. So good job, Atlas. I really enjoyed these models and I look forward to seeing more soon. I'll catch you next time.